Hello everyone. Uh, this video is in continuation to the chapter reproduction. In this video, we will be discussing about the male reproductive system in detail. And this is very, 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 I can say, important topic related to ICSC syllabus or CBSC syllabus. In ICSC, you get at least like uh, 18 to 20 marks questions from this uh, topic that is reproduction. So whatever videos are made on reproduction, if you are going to sit for the boards, that would be very much helpful for you. And CBSC also, CBSC has like uh, many questions from the chapter reproduction. Whereas if you talk about uh, uh, plus two, class 12th so in class 12th this chapter is very very important so kind of like the reproduction whatever the videos are please do go through uh, thoroughly so that you may grab the maximum now starting up with the uh, with the uh, video male reproductive system first of all before starting the male reproductive system i just want to clarify one thing that reproductive system whether it is a male or the female reproductive system they have certain uh, structures or parts which are mainly responsible for the process of reproduction and there are certain which are accessory accessory means they just assist the primary parts for the process of reproduction okay so we'll be discussing the parts and we'll be doing the function i'll be taking up those topics more in detail which are related to the uh, questions in your exam now starting up the male reproductive system when we start up the main parts of the male reproductive system include a pair of testes and now starting uh, uh, I'll be taking up uh, each part one by one and then I'll be explaining the first part which we are going to deal with is the testes now Testes are the parts of the male reproductive system which are mainly responsible for the production of or formation of sperms. After taking up, in this video only, we will be studying the structure of uh, testes in detail that would give you a clear explanation of the topic. Now, testes, first of all, what uh, you should uh, know about it, testes, they are enclosed in thin sac-like structure known as scrotum. Now, what is the function of scrotum? Scrotum covers the testis and protects it from any other mechanical injury or any damage. Now, testis, both the testis are present outside the abdomen of the males and it is not inside the body, it is present outside. There is a reason for that, that also I will be explaining in the video. Now, testis, first part is testis, it is surrounded by a sac like structure known as scrotum. The function of testis is to produce sperms plus to produce testosterone and function of scrotum is to protect the testis from any damage or any injury. The next part is the sperm duct also called vas deferens or vas differentia. Okay, sperm duct. Name is itself suggesting that this is the duct which carries the sperms from testis to the urethra. Okay, the next part is here. Here, the there is a like kind of uh, barrier is here. I am not say barrier, but it's a check post where there are three accessory glands present, naming Cowper's gland. Prostate gland and seminal vesicles. Okay, Cowper's gland, prostate gland, and seminal vesicles are the three accessory glands which are present here. Now, when the sperms are moving from the testes and they reach here, these three glands they pour their fluid secretion over the sperms and then make them active and finally the sperms are passed out from the male reproductive system now i'll be explaining this in detail here when the sperms they move from the testes they are just sperms and are inactive okay now when they are in the testes from the testes they move, okay, I left one part. They have, here over the testes, there is a coiled structure which is known as epididymis. 
which is known as epididymis. Okay. Now this epididymis, what is the function of sperms? They are formed in testes. From testes, when they are active, they are they lead they lead to or reach epididymis. In epididymis, they are stored and they become mature and motile. That is, they can move. Their tail appears. Okay. Now, from epididymis, the sperms they move into the sperm duct. Through sperm duct, they lead to the three accessory glands. That is, the Cowper's gland, prostrate gland, seminal vesicles. These three glands pour their fluid secretion over the sperms. Now, what do we have here? Here, what do we have? We have sperms plus the secretion from prostrate gland plus the secretion from Cowper's gland plus the secretion from seminal vesicles. And this whole fluid is known as semen. Okay, so here, here at this part, semen is formed and hence the semen, finally, it is passed out from the male's body. Okay, this is the main process, how the sperms are formed and how they are passed out from the body. Okay, now here, some things which are, which I'll be uh, telling you in detail. First, first thing was, test is, function of test is two functions, one is, Formation of sperm, second is production of testosterone, I will be taking up that. Then is scrotum, it's a sac like thin skin -like, like structure which encloses the testis and protects the testis. Then after that is the sperm duct, function to carry the sperm from testis to outside the body. Then the sperm duct here when it comes uh, uh, in uh, like in vicinity to do these three accessories. Now these are three accessory glands. They don't play any role, uh, major role in the, sorry, they don't play any direct role in reproduction, but still they are assisting the process of reproduction. Cowper's gland, prostate gland and seminal vesicles, they pour their secretion. Three of them have fluid secretions and their function is to lubricate the sperms, to provide energy to the sperms and make the medium of semen alkaline. Now when here, at this point, the sperms mix up with these secretion of these three uh, glands and then they are finally passed out and here they are known as semen. Now it's not only the sperms, they are present mixed with the fluids and hence they are, moved, are moving out from the body of the males. This uh, secretion is known as semen. Now uh, when we uh, see the structure of like uh, this question that is the structure of testis it comes as a separate question also, which I will be discussing right now. When we see the structure of testes separately, what do we observe? That testes, it has this packing material and between these, it has coiled structures present like this. That is when I label testes itself, in a magnified view, what do I label? These tubes are known as seminiferous tubules and this packing material is known as LEYD, Leydig cells or they are also known as interstitial cells. Now, what is the function of, now I have told that testes they perform two functions from it, of formation of sperm and production of testosterone. Now what is the function of seminiferous tubules? It forms sperms. Okay, and what is the function of Leydig cells? It secretes testosterone. Okay, it secretes testosterone. Now what is testosterone? Testosterone is a male hormone which undergoes like uh, during the attainment of puberty when a child it attains puberty the hormones secreted inside the uh, males 
that is testosterone which develops the secondary sexual characters in the males now what are secondary sexual characters the characters which demarcate or differentiate between the males and females are known as secondary sexual characters the hormones responsible for appearance of secondary sexual characters in males is testosterone and appearance of secondary sexual characters in females is progesterone and oestrogen that we will be taking up in the next video okay so here the test is play a very 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 important role why because it performs two major roles one it forms sperms and two it forms or releases a uh, hormone testosterone sperms are formed by seminiferous tubules and testosterone is secreted by the leydig cells okay these are the two main functions which are performed by the testes very important functions now um now after this and you must know what is semen semen it is a mixture of sperms plus the secretion from prostate gland cowper's gland seminal vesicles that is known as semen and it is a milky white fluid which passes out from the male's body uh, uh, during the process of uh, uh, ejaculation now uh, uh, one more thing here that is that um, uh, what is the now what is the uh, like uh, the semen it has like it contains sperms and you must know what are the characteristics of sperm which enables it to uh, undergo the process of reproduction now here i want to just show you the diagram of sperm so that it becomes easier for you now when we see the structure of sperm what do we observe that sperm is basically divided into three parts okay this is the acrosome it has a nucleus in the center it's filled with cytoplasm this is the middle piece which has mitochondria in it so i this is the head part this is middle piece and this is the tail okay the head region it comprises up of acrosome it has nucleus present in it and it is filled with cytoplasm as it is a cell tail it has mitochondria and it has a uh, sorry middle piece it has mitochondria which provides it with energy and tail is present which helps it in movement now when i said that in testes sperms are produced but are inactive that means that sperms are there but it aisa structure nahi hai it's just a cellular structure aisa when it moves to epididymis in epididymis it is stored for a while and this cellular structure will attain this shape it will become motile so that it can move from the male reproductive system to the female reproductive system and finally reach the egg for the process of fertilization now here mitochondria plays a very important role because to pass this whole long journey this sperm requires energy and that energy is provided to it by the mitochondria now what is acrosome what is acrosome acrosome it is a like a cap like structure which is present over the sperm but it plays a very important role in fertilization as when the sperm it reaches the egg this acrosome releases an enzyme which helps in the rupturing of the wall of egg for the process of fertilization okay so that's why each and every part of the sperm are very important head part provides life to the sperm middle piece provides energy and tail helps in movement of the sperm okay so this was about the structure of the sperm and the male reproductive system too in the next video i'll be taking up uh, the female reproductive system and i'll be discussing uh, please do watch and subscribe the channel thank you